Okay, I'm back in front of the airplane here and we're about ready to uh, put the engine on and find uh, where to drill the holes. So what I'm going to start with is I want to get these little uh, bit of tubing out of the way here. So I'm going to use a clamp and just clamp them back out of the way like that. Next thing I want to do is um, use my little wooden measuring sticks and clamp them to the side here and get them in the exact location that I want. Okay, that looks good. Get the other side. <clears throat> Clamp in place first and then get the stick in place. And those look nice and even. I'm going to use this to measure. Yeah, that looks nice and even. All right. <clears throat> so the next step is to find where the engine should be in relation to that. Um, four and three eighths mark. So I'm gonna make sh first off. I'm gonna make sure that this thrust washer is uh, all the way back. I'm gonna set this in place about where I think it is. Okay, I can see already that that's a little too far back. So I'm gonna slide it forward a little. That's a little too far forward. All right. So right about there. Use a pencil here to see if I got a line across these three things. This, this, and the thrush washer. Okay, it's about a 30 second off. I'm going to move it forward just slightly. Okay, we'll see how that looks. Okay, all three of those are touching. That defines a straight line. So I'm going to use couple of clamps there to hold that in place and to hold this side in place. Now I can let go. Don't let that engine fall off because it's just precariously balanced there. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is take a sharp pencil here and mark where the um, back part is. Uh, where the back part of the mount is, and I'm going to take this off for a second to measure, to mark where the front part of the mount is, and then where the side is. That'll help me um, when I go to drill the holes to make sure that the uh, we are in the right spot. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. Take this one off. Mark the front and the side and put this clamp back on. <clears throat> now after thinking about this a little bit I've decided I'm going to go ahead there's two ways I could do this I could dismount everything and then drill my pilot hole but I think I'm going to drill my pilot hole now uh, now this is not what I'll call a pilot hole this is a marking hole so it's to find the center I got this vertical now you're going to have to press a little bit so you got to make sure that the Airplane is resting steady and not going to move anywhere. And you want to get enough force on it that it gets a mark. Now this nylon that it that this rest is made of is kind of tough. Okay, that's got a decent mark. Now, let's see if we can do this one. Nice and vertical. I'm pressing kind of hard. 
you can see probably the airplane's tilting forward. And it doesn't have a very good mark. I'm going to slide the airplane back a little so I can press it a little harder. Hopefully you can still see what I'm doing. I think you can. Because as I press hard, the airplane tilts forward. I can't get enough leverage to do that. Okay, that one got a good mark. Now, um, I want to make sure these are still in a good position here. Hadn't moved any. And by the marks that I made, uh, everything still looks like it's in a good place. So what I'm going to do next is take these off because they're in my way. Okay. That way these clamps can slide out and still hold and I can get to the two front holes. I can feel this bit spinning and then it sort of, it is a drill bit, so it starts eating in. Once it starts eating in, then um, I know I've got my decent mark. Holding the engine in place, I'm going to take these clamps off and remove the engine. Okay. So the engine. holes you can uh, I'm gonna move I'm gonna stop the camera a minute and move it for you okay so what I've got here is a close-up shot and what you can see is the this little spiral thing here is is the um, um, drill bit this centering drill bit digging a hole there and that's all I needed to do was get it started so I know where that hole is and that'll be the starting hole for the uh, other side. So there, those type of things are on both sides, and it looks like I've got a good mark. Uh, so I'm going to stop here, reset the camera, and uh, take off the uh, uh, blocks. Okay, so now I'm going to take these blocks off. one down here with a flat blade screwdriver. Now when I take these screws out, I put them in a certain order so I know where what I want to put them back in the exact same um, uh, hole they were in before. Okay, that's there, that's that one. Okay, let me take this one out.
bottom one out first. Okay, so I'm going to show you a close-up of, hopefully you can see the um, little, um, where the drill bit bit in. And uh, so the next step is going to be to um, drill those out. <laughs> 